Welcome to Chess Adventures. Today we're looking for the Florida Armadillo. And also known as the Nine Banded Armadillo. Here deep in the woods of sawgrass is where they live. So come on, let's see if we can find some. Wait, there's one. Even though it is called a nine banded armadillo, some tend to have between seven and eleven bands depending on the range of their locations. In most cases, 75% of their diet is insects, like ants, beetles, wasps, caterpillars, roaches, termites, and larvae. Even though the nine-banded armadillo is considered to be an insect eater, it will eat other organisms out of that category, like small reptiles, amphibians, and even dead birds. You can see here how he is using his snout to dig for insects. The nine-banded armadillo is a medium-sized animal with a length of about 2.5 feet and weighing around 14 pounds. And the male being slightly larger than the female. The first nine-banded armadillo to be seen in the United States was in 1849. Prior to that, the nine-banded armadillo had been recorded to be seen as far back as the 4th and 14th century by native hunters in Mexico. The Spanish name armadillo, which means little armored one, originated from the Spanish conquistadors who encountered these beasts in the New World. Nine-banded armadillos are nocturnal creatures. Temperature is definitely a critical factor when it comes to being active in the wild, since armadillos tend to be sensitive to cold environments and are not able to adjust well to desert conditions. The nine banded armadillo have poor eyesight but have a keen sense of smell. Its sense of smell helps it find food underneath the forest litter, as well as in the soil, since it finds food with its snout close to the ground. The nine-banded armadillo is also known for digging sizable burrows close to the trunks of trees, as well as in the banks of streams or in limestone cliffs near surface water supplies. As for myself, I love to watch these awesome creatures root around in the summer sun, looking for bugs and having fun doing it. Since their eyesight is poor, I can walk carefully up to them with no problem. But if startled, they have the ability to jump three to four feet vertically into the air. And what a sight that is. As much as I love to videotape them, I love to photograph them as well. The nine-banded armadillo has two ways to get across a large body of water. The first method is the ability to float across by gulping air into their stomachs and intestines. And secondly, if the body of water is shallow enough, the nine-banded armadillo is able to walk across the bottom 
by holding its breath for up to five minutes. Armadillos are born with their eyes open and begin to move around within a few hours. Young armadillos tend to stay with their mother during the spring and summer months and then move on their own by the following year. The armadillo's lifespan can range from 4 to 7 years, but it has been known to survive up to 10 years in captivity. There is a Mayan legend that describes an event where two rebellious gods were taught a lesson. The legend says that the Mayan sun god sat the two unruly gods down on a bench before all of the other gods. The bench was suddenly altered into a pair of armadillos, which immediately jumped up in the air tumbling the two disobedient gods onto their backside and in disgrace. So if you ever see an armadillo in the wild, don't touch, just watch. They will not harm you, but they like to be left alone. Well that's all for today. Thanks for watching Jeff's Adventures. And remember, you might not see them, but there's animals all around you.